Once again, we are certainly grateful to be back in this place of worship another time. As always, we give the highest due regard and praise to God himself. Uh, we are certainly grateful he has blessed all of us to be alive and to be back here to celebrate him again. As always, uh, we want to give due respect to the apostles and the prophets who have lived before you and I. Uh, we certainly want to give uh, due honor and respect to our dearly beloved pastor and leader, Pastor Jennings, and to the other ministering brethren who have traveled from near and far, and certainly to the saints here and to uh, those who may be visiting, uh, call themselves visitors, we certainly extend a warm welcome to you. We are going to get ready to get to the most important part of the worship. Uh, obviously, uh, we want everybody to pay strict attention to the Word of God. Uh, it's by far the most important thing that we're here for. Everybody needs to pattern their life after the Word. Uh, there's coming a day when we're going to have to give account to the maker of all of us. And uh, this is just preparation, as you've heard said many times. So we're going to do a telecast. Uh, as always, we ask you to turn off your cell phones and pagers and to, if you can, limit your movement around the assembly while the message is being told. Uh, we're going to go right into our telecast. We're going to ask you to stand at this time. You have a congregational song. Put yourself into the song. God has done so much for us. Brother Rollins.
greetings to our radio, television, and live internet uh, audience in the name of Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God program coming to you from the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our international headquarters is located at 2431 through 49 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he is our general overseer. Mesdames et Messieurs, nos salutations de la radio et de la télévision audience francophone au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité de Dieu programme international avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Señoras y señores, saludos, saludos a todos nuestros audiencias de habla hispana, de la radio y de la televisión en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa Verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. We're going to ask you to bow with us at this time as Elder Robert King will now lead us in prayer. Eternal God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you again for this opportunity and the privilege that thou have been grateful and been merciful unto the human family. Thank you for our gathering together to hear what heaven has to give us that we're able to survive in this earthly tabernacle we dwell in here. We thank you for the eyes I've seen and the ears I've heard that all of judged ourselves according to that divine word. Teach us our laws and our statutes and our judgment that we may feel you whatever we strive to do to glorify your name. We thank you for our beloved pastor that continue to keep him preserving, giving knowledge and wisdom and understanding that the gospel may be preached throughout the world. Men and women may understand they got to face heaven one day. We thank you, God, for this service for our young and old. But I would doubt you, we cannot survive. Thank you for all our minister brothers, those that live in the vineyard, those that are willing to go through the fire, have another desire to turn back, Lord God, to go forward. We ask you to help us right now. We all are standing at a need of prayer. And we need you. We cannot survive without you. Save those that went down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give them the gift of the Holy Ghost. That they may have keeping power. God Almighty be resting on you. Through and by your divine word. We need your help right now. We ask you to remember this telecast, reach out in all dog aging, that somebody may hear the joyful sound ringing through the minute hour and to the sun rising until the gun down at up. God sent on your holy angel that it may come to our leader, get him knowledge that he strive hard Long he in this earthly house to get the gospel over in dark Asia. God Almighty, right now, will you hear us, Lord Jesus? Don't turn a deep ear on thy servant prayer. We all need you one way or another. We cannot survive without you. Set on Holy Ghost power. Remember those in bondage right now. Remember those in authority. That it may learn to do justice and righteous. God Almighty to all mankind. We're coming in now, Lord God. Let the Holy Ghost knew somebody today. Let the word pick somebody heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We, we thank you right now. Glory to God. Feel the false bunny, Lord Jesus. Stir up all of our vessels. That we may cry out to you. Lord God Almighty, we need you on every side. We cannot do this job alone by ourselves. 
Uh, help us, help us right now, Holy Ghost. Keep our beloved pastor in a special matter. God, we give all the praise, all the glory belong unto thee. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank God for all things. Amen. For those of us who are us, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. We are a pre-recorded program, except for those who are watching us live at this moment, coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our international headquarters is located at 2431 through 49 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in the city of Philadelphia, here in Pennsylvania, in the United States of America, where Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he's our general overseer. You're also listening to and watching our 24th radio and 15th telecast anniversary. We're also celebrating our 17th International Youth Convocation. Uh, this year we're actually convened in the city of Wilmington in the state of Delaware. And uh, this recording is being made on the afternoon of March the 31st. March the 31st, the year 2013. You can write or email us for any of the following. A current list of our radio and television stations. A list of our church locations, both within and outside the United States. Uh, for biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings. And for the church's magazine, it's called The Truth of God Journal. It's the fifth edition. We've also got CDs and DVDs available of all our programs. Uh, just like to remind you right now that today's or tonight's or tonight's or this afternoon's uh, program number, make a note of it, is 952. Once again, the series that begins at number 952. If you desire to have the gospel preached in your area in person by Pastor Jennings, he will come if possible. Uh, you can write to us. Our address is, our street address is 2431 through 49, Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the zip there being 19125. You can also send uh, uh, your correspondence to our uh, post office box address, it's P.O. Box 7745, P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. We'd also like you to visit us on the internet. Go to www.truthofgod.com. You can also send us an email. And as you know, we get a tremendous amount of emails. So please make your, uh, your email short. The email address, truthofgod at errols.com. Truthofgod at errols.com. You can also call us toll free. It's 1-888-1-888-231-2201. Once again, 1-888-231-2201. That will be on screen for those who are watching us on television. Quickly to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Señores y señores, saludos. Saludos a todos nuestros audiencia de habla hispana, de la radio y de la televisión en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa Verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro de Señor Jesucristo. Localizada en el 2431 de la Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania, 19125 en los Estados Unidos de América. El plan verdadero de Dios para nuestra salvación requiere que usted se arrepienta y sea bautizado en el agua en el nombre de Jesucristo para el perdón de sus pecados y reciba el don del Espíritu Santo. Según lo dice la Biblia, le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis titulados Ha nacido usted de nuevo, mujeres predicadoras y Jesucristo es Dios Todopoderoso Una vez más, nuestra dirección es Primera Iglesia de Nuestro de Señor Jesucristo 24 31 de la Avenida Frankfurt en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania 19125 en los Estados Unidos de América Que Dios les bendiga Esperamos que nos escriban pronto. That's to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Just like to remind you again that you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio program. This program is ordained of God for you in your lifetime. You are certainly not watching this program by accident. God has sent the man in our time to explain to us the pathway of righteousness. He just so happens to be in person here at the moment. Our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are indeed thankful again to the one God for his divine wisdom, his perfect 
an infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for sending to us his servants, the prophets, and for sending to us his servants, the apostles. We can never thank God enough for the time that he seen fit to interrupt all of our lives. It is the interruption of God that have us sitting here today. Sometime when God interrupt your life, it may not feel good, it may not sound good, but it's guaranteed for our safety. We thank him most of all for the straight path, the path of holiness. That's the path he put all the prophets on. And that is the path that the apostles followed so strictly. To all of our ministers that are here, we thank God for them and their faithfulness and dedication and labor and various areas to help labor in the word and doctrine for the edification of God's people. To all of our distinguished guests that are here with us today in Wilmington, Delaware, I'm glad that you took the time out to come it is jam-packed in this auditorium again this afternoon. Thirteen went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ on Friday. Sixteen last night went down in water. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So far, 29 souls been caught by a good old-fashioned gospel. We can never thank God enough for this way because this is a opportunity in our lifetime. Seeing that we can be in the same condition that many are presently in. Going to some religious building and still ignorant of the knowledge of God. In fact, the Apostle Paul says it this way. We ourselves also were sometime foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers, lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, thank God and hating one another. But after that, the love of God toward man appeared. And that's why we're here. By God love and by God mercy. So brothers and sisters and television viewers, again, the Truth of God program is your program. That's right. This is your church. That's right. God is your preacher. That's right. I want to say I thought it was you, Pastor Dennis. No. Oh, no. I'm just a puppet. Mm-hmm. God is the puppet master. I strive to subject myself to the pulling of his strings. That's right. And he just so happened to pull my mouth rather wide in these last days. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> to open your eyes. That's it. This is an opportunity for every human under the sun, if they will accept it, to get right. You know, I think of how God can take one message and pull so many people from so many foreign countries. So many thousands are following the truth of God that many of you can't see today. Mm -hmm. It is written that God added how often? Daily. Daily. Such as should be saved. And I hope, Television Field, that you want to be saved today. That's right. I think of the young sister that testified that's visiting us today, how she OD'd and her body was cold. And God bless her to come back just for a little bit time. That's right. That's a blessing. While I was listening to the young sister testify, 
You know, if you've been around me a length of time, I'm very analytical. Yes, you are. I analyze things. That's right. Everybody in here <laughs> have OD'd right. sometime, sometime on something. That's right. I want to soak you a little. Everybody. Everybody. Please don't narrow ODing down to drugs or something like that. When you OD, you have indulged in something you should not been in, and it overtook you. That's right. Glory to God, when it overtook you, you had no conscience of your being. Yeah. Everybody that's here now. OD of something that was given to us. That's right. And most time it was given to us by the devil. Oh yes. Now, many of us done indulge ourselves in some form of Happy activity. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Scripture call it diverse pleasures. When you become indulging in excess, then you have gotten too deep involved and you drown in it. That's right. And when you drown in it, sometime you paramedics need to be called to what you call that thing they put on you? That 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 thing they give you shocks. Right. Fibrillator. That's right. Go ahead, man. To kind of spark some life back in you. Yeah. So they rub it and they say, clear. Boom. And he watched. The monitor see the reaction. There's the reaction. Clear. <clears throat> Notice. They use something that have a spark in it. To reignite the spark that went out. Are you listening? Now, when that process takes place, Somebody is watching that monitor. Right. Because they want that flatliner to get off the screen. That's right. That's what I'm laboring for. Mm -hmm. The wake up the dead. That's right. There's a flatliner here in Delaware. That's right. And Give me your Bible, brother. Give me your Bible. You don't need it right now. Glory to God. I have my scriptural tools here. This is my fibrillator. Clear. Notice. The instrument is placed on the chest. Because the most deceitful thing is in you. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, Go ahead. The doctor Go ahead. know how to tamper with the muscle. Go ahead, they know how to clear up the club the clutter or the clogging of the artery but the spirit and the emotion and the evil intent of the heart they can't touch that's right in heart surgery mm -hmm. sometimes the light in the operating room ain't bright enough so the chief surgeon 
He'll have a light strapped across the head, symbolizing the way a man do when he mine in the coal mine. Why do he put light on their head? Because he don't want to function in the dark. That's it. The preacher is a divine heart surgeon. That's, that's right. He must have light not on the head, but in the head. In it. So he can cut the heart right. That's right. You see, our heart is very wicked. The word of God says the wages, wages is pay. The wages of sin is death. Now, all of us were born dead. That's right. Crippled and lame. That's right. I want to show you this today in the second chapter of the book of Philippians. I want to take my time and soak you because all of us now needs a resurrection. That's right. When you're in sin, you're covered in dirt. Covered in it. That's right. Drinking, gambling, smoking, partying, you're covered in filth. Mm -hmm. Running around in the streets of America, South America, Canada, Europe, Switzerland, Asia, Russia, Germany. Right. All of the world is running in filth. filth. You need a very strong cleaning solution. Oh, yes. You know, you give that a woman when she wash those clothes. And if there's a spot that don't come out or sometime before she wash it and you see a stubborn stain. Sometimes she get the solution and put it right on the stain. That's right. Put it right on the stain. In other words, that she give that blouse or skirt or pants special attention. <laughs> That's right. Now, there are some of us have worse hangups than others. Yeah. There are some of us, our engagement in sin is deeper than others oh yes there's some of us it's hard for us to come out of certain sin yeah. now let me educate you brothers and sisters that are here and watching mm -hmm. when you in sin with friends mm -hmm. you're not just with friends you're also with spirits spirits that's right are you listening to the old man? That's right. When you struggle to come out of sin, mm -hmm. you're not just trying to stop a behavior, but you're trying to free yourself mm -hmm. from the grasp of spirits. Spirits. That's right. Huh? That's right. Don't you hear the Bible say we wrestle not against flesh and blood? Mm -hmm. Principality. But principalities and Powers. spiritual wickedness spiritual, spiritual wickedness that's right the devil is as a roaring lion mm -hmm. seeking whom he may devour and all of us in here the devil is after yes, sir. that's right these old false prophets come into churches and tell the people that uh, the devil don't have no power. If the devil don't have no power, who got you praying? Amen. Who got you running to Jesus? Why you can't lay that bottle of liquor down? That's right. Why are you a slave to something three inches long? A little cigarette. Yeah. Why you can't stop it? Can't stop it. Why does killing yourself appeal to you? Mm -hmm. Because the devil, this is his domain. The Bible called him the God of this world. This world is the devil's domain. That's Let right. us look at our condition. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2, 
And begin reading at verse 1. Everybody listen good. Give chapter and verse again. Ephesians chapter 2 and begin at verse 1. All right. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. All right, hold it. Quicken. Quicken. To be revived. Mm -hmm. That's what that fibrillator does. It quicken you. That's right. And when that surge of energy goes through you, your body jump. Mm -hmm. It moves you. Mm -hmm. Then when they see their heart monitor move, it makes the fellas feel a little bit better. But if there's a permanent flatliner, <laughs> Lord, take God, you have stepped out of time into eternity. That's right. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, friends, and to my enemies, mm -hmm. you have he quickened one mm -hmm. life, yeah. one soul, yeah. an opportunity that God Almighty has given us while we live mm -hmm. to get right with him. That's right. In the days of Noah, mm -hmm. the word of God says, mm -hmm. How he gave man a hundred and twenty years. Think of it. That's right. For thus saith the Lord. Listen at this. Now in the book of Joshua chapter 5, we're at verse 8. What is it? For thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Behold, I give you a period. Behold, I give you a period. Of one hundred and twenty years. one hundred and twenty years. If ye will turn to me. If. Think of it. Amen. God gave his God instructed Noah to build a ark for the right. saving of his house. Mm -hmm. The message went out. It's going to rain. That's right. It's going to rain. Speak ye. Mm -hmm. But they ignored Noah. That's right. Because Noah's message was out of the norm for that time. That's right. Because before then, there wasn't no rain. There wasn't no it rain. was just dew, water the earth, a mist to water everything. That's right. So here's a message that was different, unique, out of the ordinary, but yet extraordinary. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of Joshua chapter 5 and at verse 7. What is it? Speak ye. The Lord says, speak ye. And proclaim to the sons of men. Tell the sons of men. Saying, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Return from your evil ways. Do what? Return from your evil ways. Feel us. You hard head, self righteous, arrogant things. That's right. Do you hear what God is saying to you? Return from your evil ways. Why do you think you're living from 2012 to 2013? Amen. Because you're cute? No. Because you got money? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. God is just giving you some more time. That's right. Glory to God right before He snatched your spirit. Out of your temple, he's giving you time. That's Think right. Think of it. When God let a person live 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105 years. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of that time, they never obey God. Amen. Never. Then live on the earth a whole century. Amen. Then die. Mm -hmm. Never stop never. and give God any time. That's right. You rich people. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. You can get all the face lifts that you want. Mm -hmm. Get your hair dyed as black as tar. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Thank God, but mm -hmm. one thing Amen. you cannot buy mm -hmm. is an extension on life. That's right. I know you can buy all the creams, <laughs> all the jello gelatin. Amen. Eat all the grapefruits, cut the cucumber. Yes. Put it on your eyes. That's right. Use ponds cream. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Society got you thinking you can turn back the clock of time. Amen. But God said unto him, Thou that fool. control is in the hands of God. That's right. Do you hear what the word of God said? In the book of Luke chapter 12 and verse 20. Says what? But God said unto him. What? Thou fool. God said unto him. Thou fool. This night. This night. Thy soul shall be required of thee. Thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be? 
which thou hast provided. Amen. Buy all the cream. Yeah. That's all right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Take your vitamins. Fine. Help yourself. Exercise. The word the Bible says body exercise profit of little. So that's all right. Go ahead and glory to God. Mm -hmm. Pluck all your gray hairs out. That's all right. That's all right, too. Lift your weights up and down. Squat here and there and everywhere. That's right. But when the Lord says, mm -hmm. Death Angel, Death Angel. I want you to stop at Brown Street. Death right. Angel. I want you to go to 12th Street. Death Angel. Yes. I want you to stop here in Wilmington, Delaware. Death Angel. That's right. I want you to ride throughout America until I tell you to stop. That's death right. Death Angel. Yes. Tell one thing about the Death Angel. He's not racist. No, he's not. Amen. That's right. The death angel is not prejudiced. Oh, no. He'll kill a white man the same time he kill a black man. That's right. He'll kill a yellow man the same time he kill another man. That's right. Nobody mm -hmm. on earth today mm -hmm. have found a cure no. to keep you from dying. That's right. So why is it we act like we have no accountability mm -hmm. to a power that's higher than us? Amen. The book says mm -hmm. he gave man a mm -hmm. hundred and twenty years. And twenty years. For thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Behold, I give you a period of one hundred and twenty years. I give you a period of one hundred and twenty years. If you will turn to me and forsake your evil ways. If you turn to me and leave your evil ways alone. Then will I also turn away from the evil which I told you. All right, viewers, and you that are here, do you hear? It? Amen. Do you hear what the Lord says? Then will I also turn Wait away. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Before God say what He said. Mm -hmm. First, let, what did he tell us to do? For thus saith the Lord, behold, I give you a period of 120 years. Yes. If you will turn to if, me. If. If. If you do what? If you will turn to me. No, if you turn to alcohol. If you will turn to me. Listen. Amen. When you turn to God, mm -hmm. you got to be turning away from something else. That's right. That's right. When I turn to God, mm -hmm. I have to turn my back on the thing that I love. That's right. And I have to redirect my love towards God. That's right. Now, glory to God, while I'm turning mm -hmm. towards God, mm -hmm. the devil is going to be pulling me to turn back. Turn back. That's right. Towards him. That's right. That's so it right. becomes struggle. Amen. God is right there saying, mm -hmm. Come turn, unto me. Turn to me. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on unto me. That's right. If you want life, mm -hmm. I got life right here. Amen. If you want if you're thirsty, mm -hmm. I'll give you I'll something give you to drink. drink. That's right. And while you start to come towards God. Mm -hmm. Here come the devil. That's right. That's right. Offering you the same thing mm -hmm. that you're trying to come out of, mm -hmm. and he enhances right. the lust, the love, that's right, and the craving for it. Amen. Make your past appetite mm -hmm. nothing compared to yeah. what he's doing to it now. That's right. Then the devil make you believe you can't stop this. Mm -hmm. You can't stop this. That's right. So when the devil convince you that you can't stop it, he ties your emotions to it. Mm -hmm. So your emotions get linked to your habit. That's right. And when your emotions get linked to your habit, you love the habit. That's right. And then the more you love it, 
the more addicted you become. Amen. The more addicted you become, the more hard it is to release yourself. That's right. So you know what you do? The Alcohol Anonymous Association is good. It ain't good enough. Right. Drug rehabilitation is good, but it ain't good enough. Mm-hmm. You sit around and my name is Jim. And I've been clean for three years. Mm-hmm. Hi, Jim. <laughs> my name is Kenneth. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time, so I got to kill him. (laughs) And I've been clean for three weeks. (laughs) Hi, Kenneth. (laughs) My name is Dan. Hmm. And and, and I've been clean (laughs) (laughs) for five months. Amen. Sitting there admitting your state of being is good. But there's a major missing ingredient. Mm -hmm. Who is among that group have the know-how to go to your heart and go to your mind and attack the problem from within. The problem is on the inside. That's right. God has to move from heaven. That's right. Hallelujah. Lord, thank God. And step on the inside. Yeah. Oh, yes. Your heart, your heart. is attached That's right. to your liquor. That's right. That's it. That's why you can't lay the bottle down. That's right. Your heart That's right. is attached That's to it. your cigarettes. Amen. That's why you can't stop smoking. That's right. Your heart That's it. is attached mm-hmm. to your blunt. That's right. It's attached That's to right. your crack. It's attached to your wet. That's right. It's attached to your prostitution. Amen. It's attached to your homosexuality. That's right. God, who you God. That's right. That's right. That's it. Have to take his hand from heaven. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go to the heart. Go ahead. Hold up. Hallelujah. Go to the heart. That's it. That's it. I can sit around and talk. Go ahead. I can talk all day. Go ahead. But I need a source. Go ahead. A power. Go ahead. That's higher and greater than I. That's right. That's why you drink so much. That's right. Your heart, heart is in it. Has the bottle. That's right. Your heart is attached to it. Yeah. That's why you stay with your second wife. That's right. Your heart is attached to it. That's right. That's why you keep living together, not married. Amen. Your heart is attached to it. That's right. That's why God called the word a sword. A sword. He want to sever your heart. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Disconnected. That's right. So the thing that got you tied, not only can it be removed, Mm -hmm. but he take that same word, now it's a hammer. That's right. Once I disconnect you from it, I got to break it up. Break it up. That's right. If I break it up, that's right. You can't get it no more. That's right. If I break it up, I take the strength of it out. Go ahead. Your heart. Go ahead. Have to be detached. That's right. From sin. That's for from if your heart don't be, be detached Go ahead. from sin. Go ahead. You will love sin. Go ahead, brother. And never stop indulging. That's right. That's right. Are you listen to the old man? That's right. For the word says, where your treasure is. That's right. There where your heart be also. Didn't it say so? That's right. What do you love? Where your heart at? Why do you go clubbing every Friday night? Your heart is there. (laughs) Why do you go gambling and betting on the races and bet on football games? Where your treasure is. And basketball games. That's right. And baseball games. That's right. 
Your heart is there. Where your treasure is. Do you hear the word of God talking? In the book of St. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 21. Where? Where your treasure is. Your valuables are. There where your there, heart be there, also. There. Doesn't matter where you are. That's right. There. There. Where your heart be. Also. Amen. Amen. Your heart has to be attacked. When your heart is attacked, that's right. the love that's in there that's right. towards the things that God hate, right. that love has to be crushed. That's right. For from within. Do you hear it? In the book of St. Mark chapter 7 and at verse 21. Listen at Jesus talking. For from within. From within. Out of the heart of men. Listen. Amen. Listen. Amen. From within. From within, out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of men. Proceed evil thoughts. Proceed what? Evil thoughts. That's what make a man want another man. That's right. Evil thoughts. That's right. An evil thought is there. That's right. That's what make that man have a six pack of beer in his house. Amen. That's what make that woman house turn to a crack house. That's right. The evil thoughts are there. Out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of the human race. Proceed evil thoughts. That's what make that black man hate the white brother. And make the black white brother hate the black man. That's because right. there's something in his heart. Th that's right. That contaminated his mind. That's, that's right. Glory to God. For from within. From within. Out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of men. Proceed evil thoughts. Proceed evil thoughts. Adulteries. Adult. What? Adulteries. Wait a minute. What make that man get that second wife and his first wife still living? Out of the heart of men. Proceed adulteries. That's right. What is it called? Adulteries. Adulteries. Amen. You got married a whole lot of times. That's right. That's right. And your first wife is still alive. Still living. Amen. And your first husband is still alive. That's right. And then when that marriage don't work, you say, well, God gave me the second one. Mm -hmm. That don't work. God gave me the third one. Mm -hmm. That don't work. God anointed me. Let me know the fourth one is it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's evil. Evil. Evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Adulteries. What else? Fornications. What? Fornications. Amen. <laughs> Amen. What is fornication called? Evil thoughts. Mm. Mm. But it feel good. Evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. But it look good. Evil thoughts. But what do God call fornication? Evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. So the next time you want to get with a woman, just tell the truth. Mm -hmm. I want to do evil thoughts. Evil thoughts with you. <laughs> I got right. evil thoughts concerning you. That's right. Why don't you include that in your rapping? Go ahead, brother. Huh? Go ahead. You saying all that stuff. Well, you know, girl, you know, you well, put the game in, son, son, son. I got some evil thoughts evil about thoughts. you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. From within. And if you really want to be honest, besides trying to downplay Go ahead, what fornication is, Go ahead, you say, I want to have sex with you, or I want to make love to you. Gotcha. Why don't you just tell the truth? You know what? I would like to have fornication with you. <laughs> that's right. Now that's being straight up. That's, that's right. Yeah, a man ain't going to take, well, some men, they ain't going to tell you that, but oh, some men's just that crazy, they tell you that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You see how God thinks different from us? Yes, he does. That's right. The heart That's is right. a dangerous mechanism. Yes, it is. And this is why the world is in the condition that it's in. That's right. Because the world heart, heart is wrong. That's right. That's it. When you get the world heart right, mm -hmm. thank God, then you get them on one accord mm -hmm. with God's heart. That's right. Listen at this. For from within, out of the heart of men. From within, out of the heart of men. Proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Adultery. Adultery. Fornication. Fornication. Murders. What? Murders. Amen. What make you stand back? Go ahead. You that are watching me now. Mm -hmm. Young man. Mm -hmm. Middle aged man. What is it? Amen. That'll make you kill. 
and murder your mother. That's right. Father, That's right. how did you become so demented mm -hmm. that you would murder your son? Amen. And Amen. rape your daughter. That's right. That's right. That's right. The brother was showing me on this cell phone advertisement. You know, some preachers, they always have their wife as the first lady. Yeah. Brother Kenneth was showing me on the phone of a preacher. He had the first man. My Lord. Not first lady. My Lord. The fir first man. My Lord, my Lord. Huh? Adam. Had the first man, not the first lady, first man all up under him. My Lord. Evil. Evil thoughts. What is that? Evil thoughts. Why are the homosexuals down in Washington around the Supreme Court? Amen. What is their state of being? Evil thoughts. Evil. That's what it is. Am I right, I said? That's right. They want to be legal sodomite legal that's right they want the supreme court to <laughs> bring right. Sodom and Gomorrah from the ruins amen and legalize it legalize it my lord my lord huh? amen glory to God Evil the thoughts. devil out of hell have declared war against God and when he tries it in heaven he got put out but the same attitude didn't change That's right. when it came to the earth. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? For from within, out from of the within, heart of men. Amen. Yet the Supreme Court agree mm. that it's all right for two men or two women to get married. Mm. Every judge that agreed to it and don't repent will go to hell after you're dead. That's right. Every one of them. I want to say you talk about the Supreme Court, you're not deaf. <laughs> That's right. Yet the Supreme Court of the divided states. <laughs> go ahead, brother. It is hypocritical mm -hmm. to have in that courthouse in God we trust. You're a liar. That's a lie. Because if you trust God, you wouldn't even have to come together and discuss the subject. That's right. You would trust what God have already said, already said. about the subject. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. God's word Go ahead. Go ahead. is good enough for us. Good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Glory to God, Go you ahead, wouldn't brother. even come together to consider it. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't even think of it. A wise judge. Huh? That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says about a wise judge? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, beginning verse 1. What it says? A wise judge. A wise judge. Will instruct his people. Will instruct his people. And, and the government. And the government. Of a prudent man. Of a prudent man. Is well ordered. Is well orderly. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God if all the judges mm -hmm. of the Supreme Court mm -hmm. really believe what's on that wall. Amen. In God we trust. Yes. If you believe that, That's right. the moment it came in the courthouse That's right. to reconsider, mm -hmm. right then you would have shut it down. Yes. You would have told them, get that trash out of here. That's right. In God we trust. Hallelujah. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. But they want to change the truth yes. into, a lie. into a lie and worship the creature more than the creator. More than the creator. Who is blessed forever. Who is Amen. Blessed forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All this cause. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God have gave them Amen. up to a reprobate mind. mind. That's right. To do that which, which is, is not, not convenient. convenient. That's right. Hallelujah. You judges, Go you ahead. judges. Go ahead, the judges. Of the Supreme Court of Go Washington. Ahead. Go ahead. If you budge Go ahead. in your decision Amen. and justify same sex, Go ahead. you and your generation yes. and your seed Go ahead. shall be cursed Go ahead. by the God of heaven. That's right. You shall be cursed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. You shall. That's right. Be cursed. That's right. Unwise. Unwise. Go ahead. 
the Supreme Court of America supposed to be the highest legal system yes. in this country. In the country. And if you bow if, the Lord, same sex marriages, my Lord, my Lord, then you being selected as a supreme judge was absolutely in vain. in vain. In vain. It was a joke. That's right. It's a farce. That's right. Unwise. An unwise king. Any supreme judge that bow to it, Go ahead. you'll be cussed. That's right. And the plague of God shall reach from heaven. That's right. And step into your personal life. That's right. And he'll dismantle your last days. That's right. Because God knows. Go ahead. If the Supreme Court agree to it, Go ahead. they help push open the gates to hell. That's right. That's right. I will even send a curse upon you. Do you hear this? In the book of Malachi, chapter 2, and at verse 2. He said, out, uh, you preachers that agree to it. Amen. Give up, get all of Malachi. Malachi, chapter 2, will start at verse 1. What did God say to the preacher? Oh, ye priests. Oh, ye preacher. Ye priests. Ye preacher. This commandment is this for commandment you. This commandment is for you. If ye will not hear. If you won't listen. And if ye will not lay it to heart. And if you won't lay what I'm telling you to heart. To give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts. To give glory God's name, saith the Lord of hosts. I will even send a curse I upon will you. I send a curse upon you upon you. I will curse your blessings. I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed yeah. them already. I already got them cursed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. I said I cursed them. Hallelujah. Already. I have cursed them already. What else? Because you did not lay it to Wait heart. Wait a minute. Why he said he cursed them? Because you do not lay it to heart. Why did he say he cursed them? Because ye do not lay it to heart. You don't take God work to heart today. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's why the churches that you go to. That's right. They're not fit for the doghouse. That's right. That's right. Because they have not took to heart, to heart what God said. That's right. God says, come unto me. That's right. All ye that all labor. All ye that labor. And are heavily labor. Go ahead. And I will give, give you rest. rest. That's right. He says, take Hallelujah. my yoke. Upon you. Why you want me to take it? Go ahead. I got something heavy. That's yeah. right. They lay on you. That's right. My word is heavy. That's right. And you've got to endure the hardness. Go ahead. He wants you to pull it. Pull it. That's right. Labor with it. That's right. Struggle with it. That's right. Endure it. Go ahead. Give up to it. Go ahead. Give over to it. Go ahead, brother. He wants you to surrender. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what God wants. That's right. Preach it, brother. But instead Amen. of bowing to God, go ahead, go ahead. They have bowed to Baal. Yes, they will. America, go ahead, man. Have bowed go ahead. to the devil. That's right. You, that's right. Are rising up. Go ahead, man. The Antichrist. That's truth. From the depth. That's right. It is sin that pushes, pushes it up. the Antichrist That's right. up from the depths of the sea. That's right. That's it. Because it is written. That's right. How when this Antichrist, the Antichrist, the Antichrist, the Antichrist got to be motivated. Oh, yes. And there's a certain climate that be in the earth That's right. where he come. That's right. That resurrects it. Go ahead, brother. The Supreme Court of America. My Lord, my Lord. The other Supreme Courts of the world mm. try to imitate them. Right. Try to duplicate them. That's right. So if the Supreme Court of America go ahead, go agree ahead. for same sex to marry, go ahead. other countries that's against it, go ahead. they gonna fall. They're gonna yeah. fall. Yes, they that's will. Right. They gonna bow. That's yeah. right. And then that country that's linked to that country. They gonna bow. That's right. It's gonna be a domino effect. Yes, it will. Then the houses mm. of the world of the world gonna be in worse shape they're in than now. That's right. Mm. Go ahead, man. 
I will even send a curse upon you. God say I send a curse on you. And I will curse your blessings. I will curse your blessings. Yeah, I have cursed them already. I cursed them already. Because you do not lay because it to heart. Because you will not hear what God says. Behold. Behold. I will corrupt your seed. I told you. That's right. I cuss your, your seed. seed. And spread dung and upon I your face. And spread filth. That's right. Meaning I will ruin their progress. That's right. That's right. What else? Even the dung of your solemn Even feast, the dung of your, your wish up. And one shall take you away with it. My Lord, my Lord. Look at America. Mm. This wicked, wicked and perverted country. That's something. And all the pulpits of America are mm. quiet. Yes, they are. And this is why folks look at me like I'm crazy. That's right. They quick to say mm -hmm. that Gino Jennings, mm -hmm. that man is crazy. Yeah. That Gino Jennings, yeah. he ain't right upstairs. Uh -huh. Because they have been used to going to church. That's right. Right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Quiet. 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 Full of homosexuals. That's right. Quiet. Quiet. That's right. Preachers can switch all around you. Yeah. You so used to it, don't bother don't you. Don't bother. That's Quiet. right. Quiet. Quiet. Your ahead. son or daughter can come say, well, you know, I would like to be gay. That's the road I chose. That's Parents would be say. like, I support you. <laughs> That's right. Yes, they do. That's right, man. Change their mind. That's right. When the word of God said they change the truth into a lie, mm -hmm. it's the spirit of change. That's right. If you only realize the impact mm. that the Supreme Court decision will have on the whole world. On the world. If they bow to this madness. My Lord, my Lord. My it's Lord. a domino effect. Yes, it is. That's right. Lawsuits that used to be lawsuits won't be them no more. No, they won't be. No more, man. You cannot agree for two men to marry. And they complain when you're sodomized. That's right. That's right. Preach, preach, preach. That's right. Supreme Court. Go ahead, brother. And every gay man living. Go ahead. Why would you persecute the Catholic Church mm. if you condone homosexuality? That's right. You're just trying to make sodomy legal. Legal. That's all it is. That's all. Legalized sodomites. That's right. And if you make it legal, you got to release every priest that's in jail. Yeah. You got to release oh, every yeah. man that's in jail. That's right. That sodomize another man. That's right. Because your law will protect him. Yes, it will. Your law will condone his conduct. That's right. Talk to me, men. Go ahead. Talk to me. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. I listen to the old man. Go ahead. Who will the just Supreme Court? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Of America. Go ahead, brother. You tapping with God's law. That's right. The true supreme judge yes. is the law. That's right. Mm. And when you give these few little mortal just men a few. Just a few. and women right. trying to decide whether God is right That's or whether right. the gays are right. That's right. That's what you're trying to decide. That's right. You're trying to decide did God know what he was talking about? That's right. Or did a homosexual know what they were talking okay. about? Amen. Amen. So the homosexual sitting out. Go ahead, brother. Like someone waiting to have a camp religious meeting. Yeah. Some of them even praying. That's right, yeah. mm. My Lord, my Lord. There is no marriage. When two men stand two in front men. of priests. No. That's not a marriage. Not a marriage. When two women stand there. That's right. I don't care what you say. That's right. I don't care if you don't like it. That's right. That's not a marriage. It's not a marriage. Marriage was ordained of God. That's right. God said I made the woman. For the man. For the man. For the man. I made the woman. For the man. For the man. That's right. That's what God said. That's right. 
every supreme judge Amen. got to say the same thing. That's right. God said, I made the woman for the man. For the man. That's right. The woman for the man. Hallelujah. And go out and tell the homosexuals, go home. That's right. Get off our property. That's right. Get off the Supreme Court Get steps. Off. That's right. Go home. Go home. Preach it. Woman for the man. You preachers. Mm. Oh, ye priests. And you parents. Go ahead. Anytime you say you're servants of God Go ahead. and you are scared Go ahead. to take this stand. Amen. Why? Because your husband is homo? Yeah. Why? Because your daddy is homo? Amen. Why? Because your son now is homo? Yeah. Why? Because your pastor is tiptoeing through the tulips? That's right. When you have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. I mean from heaven. That's it. When Pastor Paul Go ahead. went to Greece Go ahead. in Athens, yeah. he said, My spirit was a stirred in them. But I now beheld yeah. the unlawful deeds. That's right. He said, As I passed by, I, I the saw their devotion That's right. with this inscription to the unknown, to God, the unknown God, whom therefore you ignorantly worship. They ignorantly worship, declare I unto you. That's right. When a man of God healed the madness. That's of right. a country. That's right. His spirit is spirit stirred, stirred, in him. stirred in him. Any preacher out there Go ahead, preacher. can see the conduct of the world. Go ahead. And sit quiet. Go ahead. God is not in you. God's not in him. God is not in you. That's Holy right. God. You cannot That's right. have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And be quiet. Go ahead. God said. Go ahead. Cry loud. Cry loud. Spare not. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. God said. Cry aloud. God said it. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up thy voice. Don't hallelujah. Voice. Like a trumpet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like a trumpet. Show my people. That's what God said. Hallelujah. Go ahead. How can these men? Go ahead. How can you sit quiet? Go ahead, brother. Homosexuality. In the mosque, in the synagogue, that's right. In the church, that's right. In the homes, on the job, that's right. In the schools, yeah. Five-year-olds, amen. It's a spirit. Yes, it is. Spirit, give your five-year-old a dream. That's right. Keep telling him or her. Go ahead. You can be gay. Yes. Then that mind is confused. That's right. The devil. This homosexual is the spirit. That's right. He's going in the dreams yes. of your children. That's right. Interrupting the dreams yeah. of your wife. Amen. The dreams right. of your husband. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. And you claim you're a Christian. A Christian. Then why you get scared when this is being preached? That's God right. People is bold. That's right. God's people Go ahead. is bold. Go ahead. We are a bold people. Go ahead. A strong people. Go ahead. Glory to God. A firm, a firm brother. people. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead. That's God's people. God's people. We tell all the governments of the world. Go ahead. Regardless of what you say, right. we shall not bow. That's right. Huh? If you throw us in jail, we shall not bow. That's right. If you dare us to preach it, we shall not bow. not bow. That's right. We will not condone Go ahead. what the world condones. Go ahead. You preachers. Oh, you preach. You wonder why I bark about you preaching so much? Amen. You shouldn't be up here. No. A man of God on, man. is God's mouthpiece. That's right. Amen. So if the voice of God Go ahead. is not coming out of that man, yes. then who is that man speaking for? That's right. Who are you speaking for? That's right. Mm. If God word Amen. ain't coming out of that man, out of him. that man speaking for somebody, yes, he is. there's only two left. That's right. He's speaking for the devil That's right. or himself. That's it. When a man say 
is nothing wrong mm -hmm. with homosexuality. Amen. He's speaking for the devil, for the devil. and himself. himself. That's right. That's right. He ain't speaking for God. Not for God. The book says, who is on the Lord's side? That's right. Let him come unto me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, oh, brother. Go ahead. Said, who? who is on the Lord's side? Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. God's people. Go ahead. Is on God's side. That's right. Go to God. Go ahead. If you're not on God's side, go ahead. don't go to church. That's right. If you're not on God's side, go don't you go to church no more. Oh, you feel us? If you ain't on God's side, right. stop going to church. That's right. You preachers, if you ain't on God's side, That's right. get out the pulpit. Out the pulpit. You politicians, if you ain't on God's side, That's right. take your hand off the Bible. Off the Bible. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it off. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take brother. Go ahead. Take it off. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Either you're on God's side. Go ahead. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not. America. Go ahead, brother. You don't deserve to have on your currency. Go ahead. In God we trust. You trust. No, You's no. a liar. That's right. You want to present yourself to all the nations of the world. Yeah. This is a democracy. Yeah. We are God fearing. You're pagans. That's right. Your antichrist. Antichrist. Huh? Go ahead. A true child of God. Go ahead, brother. When God talk, Go ahead. if it hurt him, he say, not my will. That's right. Thine will be done. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead. Not my will. Go ahead. But let my will be done. Thine will be done. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand? Go ahead. That's what every. That's right. True child of God, stand on. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy say God. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brother. You. Go ahead. Go ahead. You television stations. Preach it, brother. That air the truth of God. Preach it, brother. How can you be religious and then bleep us out? Yeah. How can you be a Christian and then black us out? Yeah. Why you don't believe the Bible that you claim? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. Man. When the president gets sworn in the office, he Preach put it. his hand on the Bible. Preach it, brother. When you put your hand on the Bible. On the Bible. And see, sometimes they use two. Yeah. Which lets you know right then, mm -hmm. I'm going to be impartial mm -hmm. in my judgment. Yeah. Why do I got two of them? Yeah. Because a double-minded man. That's right. Unstable. Is unstable. In all his ways. In all his ways. That's right. God have one law. Go ahead. One faith. One faith. One baptism. That's right. One doctrine. One, that's right. one standard. That's right. One gospel. One church. Go ahead. One law. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Yes. Go ahead. Just one. Just one. Go ahead, brother. That's all God has. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Sometime politicians lay their hand on the Bible. Amen. And then they lay their hand on the Bible mm -hmm. written by Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. The Thomas Jefferson version That's right. of the Bible. That's right. He stripped mm -hmm. Jesus out of the Bible. My Lord. He didn't believe My Lord. that Jesus was a healer mm. and a redeemer. My Lord. So everywhere in the New Testament mm. that Thomas Jefferson mm. saw Jesus, he erased it. My Lord, my Lord. That's Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. You politicians. Amen. You see, the truth of God, we don't mind if you attack us. Yeah. We don't mind Go ahead. 
If you slander us in the paper, Go ahead. we don't mind. Go ahead. If you try to drag the truth of God repetition through the mud, yeah. it is written, rejoice not. That's right. My enemies. My enemies. When I sit in darkness, Go ahead. God, God shall be, shall my, be everlasting my everlasting life. life. That's right. I had a man write me. Go ahead. He said, Pastor Jennings, God through you is changing the lives of millions. Yeah. He said, I don't understand why Time Magazine didn't call you. That's right. Why Ebony didn't call you. That's right. Why the large papers of America don't didn't call, call you. That's right. I don't care if they don't call me. That's right. As long as I'm called by God's name. By God. Amen. That's the interview Featured, that I want. That's right. That's right. The interview that I want Go ahead. is when I stand before my teacher. That's right. And give him my record. That's right. And he say, well done. Well done. Hallelujah. Very good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. And faithful, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're not trying to make some popularity chart. No, no. We're trying to get in the kingdom of God. That's right. Men who seek fame is vain. Men who look to leave a legacy, go ahead. Vain. Vain. I look to live to please God. That's it. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. And now, oh ye priests, glory to God. Go ahead. Listen at the words. And now, oh ye priests, everybody, all right? Amen. Go ahead. That's what the Holy Ghost brought today. Amen. And it's good too. Oh yes. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead brother. Yes, it is. Young men. Go ahead, brother. Young women. Go ahead. Middle age and old. My lord, my lord. Look at the condition you're in. You hang the streets in your neighborhood. Then all of a sudden want to be a Christian when you go to jail. Then when you come out of jail, that spell of Jesus' love lasts for a few days more, then it disappears like vapor. For some, not all. Then you go back in the same dirt that you got arrested for. You go back selling drugs, and while you're in jail, you've been taking drugs. Your addiction your approach to the cure of your addiction is wrong. That's wrong. That's right. That's right. I had a homosexual write me and ask me, can I be delivered? That's right. You most certainly can. That's right. Certainly, certainly. Amen. The apostle said, No, you're not. Such word. That's right. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter listen, 6. Listen, listen, good viewer, 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 viewer. You that are here also. If there's any homosexuals here and you hear me preach this, don't think I'm uh, gay bashing. That's right. I'm sin bashing. That's right. Amen. Right. Right. Let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. Get that straight. Because a lot of you homosexuals wrote me and cussed me out and said that how you are appalled because I don't show no love because I'm gay bashing. Right. No, I'm not gay bashing. Mm. I'm sin bashing. That's right. That's it. That's right. That's right. That's love. That's right. That's love. Love of God. Love of God. Wonderful. Let's skip that street right now. Right now. If there's any homosexuals in the audience here today, it's jam packed in here. Oh yes. You're always welcome to come. Always. Mm-hmm. Because you got too much sugar. Yeah. That's it. And this is why you love these fellas on television, these mega churches, because they're sugar daddies. Sugar. That's right. I mean, because you got the same sugar in you that they got in them, you send them money. Right. Because he didn't hurt you. Mm-hmm. God, church, mm-hmm. don't use sugar. No, no. Because our teacher said mm-hmm. salt is good. Salt is good. We don't use salt substitute. No, season with salt. 
Listen, listen at the Holy Bible. In the book of Colossians chapter 4 and verse 6. I want everybody to know whatever sin you in. Yeah. God Almighty can bring you out of it. Can bring you out of it. Amen. That's right. You think everybody here, even those that are born again, nobody here always was born again. No. Some of these men up here have been in prison. Some of these men up here been in drugs. Some of these men up here dabbled in the liquor bottle. Some of these men used to be in the club. Yeah. Some of these men up here used to be in gangs. Yeah. Gang banging. Glory to God. Go ahead, man. Look at all these men out here. Out here. Look at all these men. Go ahead, brother. You can't hardly get these men in no church. Right. Look at it. We got ex gang bangers. Go ahead. Ex drug men. Go ahead. Put the camera on them, brothers. Look at all these men. You young men that look at me on television. These are your brothers. This is your family. That's right. This is your people. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, even when you in church. Go ahead. And that old struggle try to come up again and rear his head. Right. You got to be under a tough message. Oh, yeah. So when that old thing rear his head, yeah. you got a tough message. Yeah. That's it. That's it. See, that wickedness that is in you will flourish. Oh, yes. When you on the T.D. Jakes. <laughs> yes, it will. It'll flourish. Yes, it will. On the Joel Austin. That's right. It'll flourish on the Creflo Dollar. That's right. That's right. Because there's nobody attacking it. There's an interview on YouTube when somebody interviewed T.D. Jakes and asked him about the homosexual question. <laughs> right away, he distanced himself from the subject by saying, well, it's not for me to say who's going to heaven or who's going to hell. I don't have no hell to put them in. I don't have no uh, heaven to put them in. Well, that's truth and lie. You don't have a heaven or hell to put them in, right. but it is your place to say who's going and who is not. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's your place. Wow. That's why God sent a man Go ahead. to show you the difference between the sheep and the goat. And the goat. That's right. What good is a preacher if he ain't gonna tell you the truth? That's right. What good is he? What good is he? What good is he? What good is he? You young men. Go ahead. You didn't turn the television on by mistake and saw this program. Oh, no. This program was sent to men and women around the world from God. Go ahead. For you. That's right. To save your life. Save your life. No mistakes. That's right. Was it no mistake? That's right. It is the will of God. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That way you can come off the streets. Yes. You can get rid of your gun now. Mm -hmm. You don't need it. You need it. God is much stronger than it. Oh yeah. You can get rid of your red rag now. Yeah. You don't have to be a blood. Right. We'll preach a message that'll cover you by it. That's right. No more crips. You don't have to be no bloods or crips. No crips. Because you was already born crippled. Crippled and lame and ignorant of the will of God. That's right. You don't have to be a mason now. No, that's right. And have things in secret. Right. The Lord said in secret, have I, have said, I said nothing? nothing. That's right. I don't have to be an Illuminati no more. Go ahead. And look for a cult to elevate my music career. Go ahead. Let the Lord God take me where he want me to go. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm talking real freedom. Yeah. Real freedom. True liberation. Mm -hmm. The freedom of mind, soul, heart, and body. That's right. That's Come right. on, son. Everybody all right? 
First Corinthians, Isn't that this? First Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 9. What is it? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Neither fornicators. Fornicators. Nor idolaters. Idolaters, idolaters, idolaters. I had a so-called Christian brother who wrote me a few weeks ago and told me he was on YouTube looking at our different telecasters and how he enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. And he said how he was at Paul when he saw me break down the statue of one who's supposed to have been married. Yeah. He said, by the way, it wasn't Mary that you broke down. It was <laughs> Saint somebody. I apologize for breaking down the wrong one. The wrong one. <laughs> but I'm also thankful that you told me it was the wrong one. Amen. Now you keep watching. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. That's right. I'm going to get the right one. We're going to get the right one. That's right. Idolatry. Idolatry. Go ahead. It's wrong. Yes, it is. Amen. That's right. When you're ignorant, you bow to statues. Yeah. One's supposed to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. You see it on church grounds. Hospital chapels. What country is that they got this big statue? Brazil. 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 Up on a mountain. Yeah. Overlooking the city. They said Jesus is washing over them. <laughs> Lord. And yet he needs sandblasting. <laughs> the birds lodge on him. Yeah. The cats is all around him and the dogs. That's right. A God that can't clean himself. Clean himself. Another Catholic wrote me and told me, you don't understand the significance while we make statues. I do understand. You're polytheistic. That's right. That is the understanding that's written here. That's right. They are as one of the beasts of listen, the temple. Listen, 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 listen. In the book of the epistle of Jeremiah. In the epistle of Jeremiah. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. And at verse 20. Begin at verse 18. At verse 18. Come on, son. And as the doors are made sure on every side, upon him that offendeth the king, as being committed to suffer death. Yes. Even so the priests make fast their temples with doors, with locks and bars, uh -huh. lest their gods be spoiled with robbers. Lest their gods be their spoiled gods. With, with what? Ro with robbers. Now, think of it. You have a God that can be stolen. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? Right. The Bible says that the priests lock their doors lock lest their, their gods be stolen by That's robbers. By, by robbers. Think of it. The Bible says that the priests lock the doors. Lock, that's right. Lest their gods, their idols, their idols be stolen by robbers. by robbers. By robbers. You mean to tell me your God is that incompetent, that weak, that Amen. he can be stolen Amen. and held captive? Amen. Held captive. How you gonna pray to him if you can't find him? <laughs> That's right. You gotta call the police. 911. It's 911. My God is gone. My God is gone. Please talk clearly, please. Just take your time. Sir, I, uh, my, in my church, we have different statues and there are gods, and our gods were stolen. Right. Can you describe your gods, please? Uh, 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 well, one got wings, one got little gold toes and little pudgy knees, the other got... That's right. Even so, the priests make fast their temples. Do you hear? With doors, with the locks. The priests lock up the doors of their temple. And bars. And they even put bars on them. Lest their gods, Lest their gods be spoiled. Be spoiled. With robbers. With robbers. That's right. They light them candles. You, they light candles? Yea, more than for themselves. Whereof they cannot see one. You light all these candles. That's right. To the Virgin Mary. That's right. And to the statue is supposed to be Jesus. That's right. And the statue don't see none of them. They cannot see one. I'm all statues crying. When you go to hell, you're going to be crying. Amen. I want to say to all of you that are watching me and all of you that's jam-packed in here, if you got a picture in your house, supposed to be Jesus, to be Jesus. whether he's black, brown, yellow, or red, get that trash out of your house. Get it out. 
Get it out, you old liar. Get it out. If you go into a church and there's a big stack in front of you and you come in, get up. Get up. Get up. That's right. We bow to none but God. That's and right. that statue ain't God. No. They are as one of the beasts. I want you to listen closely, real good viewers, and you that are here. Mm -hmm. I know some of you may get offended, but that's all right. Don't get mad at me. This is the epistle of Jeremiah. The of Jeremiah. And I am not Jeremiah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Come on, son. In the epistle of Jeremiah, chapter 1, now at verse 20. What is it? They are as one of the beams of the temple. They are as one of the beams of the temple. Yet they say their hearts are gnawed upon by things creeping out of the earth. <laughs> Amen. These gods are one of the beings of the temple. Of the temple. But yet their heart are gnawed upon is being eaten up by things creeping out of the earth. By insects and rodents. That's right. That's right. That's something. That's a right. God that a rat can eat. <laughs> That's right. A God that a roach can lay eggs on. That's right. That's right. And a God that a skunk can spray. That's right. And when they eat And the them, God don't say nothing. Just stand there. That's right. They feel it not. That's right. They feel it not. Uh, when, when the cat bowels move on it. They feel it not. What about when the dog urinate on it? They feel it not. What about if I spit on it? They feel it not. That's right, man. When birds drop a load on it, they feel it not. If I take an axe and knock his head off, they feel it not. If I set it on fire, they feel it not. If I throw it out the window, they feel it not. A truck hit it, they feel it not. Tie a chain on it, they feel it not. Throw it in the ocean, they feel it not. What about if I pray to it? They feel it not. That's right. What about if I need help from it? They feel it not. If I need deliverance? They feel it not. If I ask it to help me? They feel it not. What about my compassion? Can they identify with it? They feel it not. What if my son die? They feel it not. My heart is heavy? They feel it not. Amen. <laughs> A God with no feeling. No feeling. Yeah, it's something. Any of you in here got a crucifix on your wall Amen. with an image on it. Get mm. that trash out of your house. Get that out. And you preachers, get it out of your church. That's right. Jesus not on no cross. No. He bit off the cross, died and rose, and ascended above all heavens. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Their faces are blackened. Wait a minute. Amen. They didn't say that they are black. No. No. They didn't say God was black. No, it didn't. No. It says their faces were what? Their faces are black. They are black. Through the smoke. Through the smoke. That cometh out of the temple. That means they got dirty by soot. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. God take you. That's right, man. Now your God need pressure washing. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Now, you that are writing me, I'm pretty sure you upset and say I'm making mockery of you. I'm reading the Bible. The epistle of Jeremiah. God want to show you how ignorant you are of him. That's right. My God, I'm trying to disconnect the whole world from idols mm -hmm. and connect you to the real creator, God of creation. Upon their bodies. Upon their bodies. And heads. And heads. Sit back. Amen. You got a bat on your God? That's a right. bat. A bat. What else? Swallows. Swallows. And birds. Birds. And the cats also. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what is your God? An animal doctor? An animal doctor. <laughs> doctor Notice how so many creatures is attracted. That's right. To your God. That's right. Upon their bodies and Upon their heads. Upon their bodies and their heads. Sit back. You got bats. Swallows. Look at the images and idols all around America. Amen. You go in the Catholic Church, wall to wall angels and <laughs> shrines of shrines. Mary and all this rubbish. Amen. 
going all the way to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem and all these places that look at what's supposed to be Peter's grave and <laughs> the right. hand of some dead sink and all That's that right. bundle of trash that crawled out of hell. Go ahead. I wouldn't fly out to the other side of the world Go to ahead. see bones. No. No, no way. Think of it, how you've been made a sucker. Think of it. That's right. How did the Catholic Church know that's the body of Peter? That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Foolish. Foolish. That's the idolatry. That's, the idolatry. that's what it is. That's right. Mm. Did you hear what I'm telling you? Upon their bodies. They I should not be an idol. No. Or a statue. Mm -hmm. Where you try to worship a God mm -hmm. or worship a person. In your church, that's right. Or your home, that's right. Or your job, that's right. Or on your wrist, mm -hmm. around your neck, on your neck, on your lapel, yeah. In your car, that's right. In your office, that's right. In your bedroom, Amen. nowhere, nowhere. Go ahead, brother. So spring is here. So it's time for some spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Huh? That's right. Spring cleaning. Yeah. Take out the trash. Take, out. That's right. take That's that right. cross off your wall with that hippie on it. Go ahead. And you take out that cross off your wall with that Black Panther Party on it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Lord, thank God I want to make the devil so hot I see him <laughs> gather his people and pick it in the streets. That's right. <laughs> Aren't you afraid for my life? I most certainly am not. Amen. I was made a preacher. Yes, you were. Brother, I was made and I know it. <laughs> That's right. Because a normal man wouldn't preach like this. Amen. Somebody say, what make you preach like this? I can't help myself. Can't help you. Ahead, There's a drive in me that God put there. I can't help it. Can't help it. That's something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. There's a spirit of the Most High. Yes. Placed in all His servants. Placed in them. And it pushes them. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah? Go ahead. Thank God. When Pastor Paul went down in Greece, he said his spirit was stirred. stirred in when he beheld the idolatry. That's right. My spirit is stirred. That's right. Stirred up. Stirred up. Hallelujah. Mm. You would say it don't take all that. It take all of it. Yes, it does. Everything God said, it takes it. That's right. That's right. You might as well take your statues and your idols and your images. Stop passing your pictures around of supposed to be the, uh, the virgin mother. A picture <laughs> of some woman with a uh, scarf on her head some and a red head. scarf, a red heart on the chest. Heart. That's right. Tear it up. That's right. That's right. Who told you Mary looked like that? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. They got this episode now on the History Channel. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. Don't believe I watched a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. And I turned to something else. I was better off watching Mo, Larry, and Curly. <laughs> huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I saw the lies, the lies. Nice. I saw the episode that's supposed to be in Abraham. Uh -huh. Supposed to be Lot, them come out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. And the two angels. Right. See, the moment you put ethnic to angels, yeah. you lie. That's a lie. Because the angels are spirit. That's right. One of them was black, mm -hmm. and the other was Asian. So in order for Lot them to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. the Asian angel <laughs> took swords and did martial arts oh, on all the Sodomites. I mean, he was getting them. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's the devil out That's of hell! Devil. That's right. That's so right. I said, what's wrong with that, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. Give me Revelation. Revelation. 22, mm -hmm. 18. 22, I'll 18. I'll show you what's wrong with it. For I testify unto every man. Listen at the Bible. Amen. Revelation 22, 18 says, I testify, I unto testify every man. to how much? Every man. Every man. That heareth the words that of the prophecy of this the book. The words of the prophecy of this book. If any man. If any man. If any man shall add unto these things. Hold it. Any man. When you threw a black angel and an Asian angel, Amen. you add it. Add it. That's right. 
You got to leave it just like God have it. That's right. Amen. Just like it. Amen. Go ahead, brother. One of my sisters mm -hmm. that's visiting asked me, I think Friday night, she said she was watching a program mm -hmm. that says when Moses went up on the mountain and talked to the burning bush, mm -hmm. the reason why he came down looking different, he was talking to aliens. Yeah, I saw that program too. Wow. Mm. <laughs> that devil is something, isn't it? My Lord, my Lord. I told her, I said, girl, that's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Mm. The devil give you something, won't it? My Lord. Now, this is the danger in looking at religious programming. Mm -hmm. These so-called religious programs that try to demonstrate the Bible and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't you know when you put together something, the Bible's supposed to be your script. That's and when right. you deviate from the Bible, you're in trouble. That's right. You Amen. may look at it as something not wrong, but notice what the Bible says. For I testify unto every God man. God is testifying. That's right. Every man. God, not Paramount. No. I testify. God, not Columbia Pictures. That's right. God, not Warner Brothers. That's right. That's right. God, not some actor or actress that you love to see. Amen. I testify. God is talking. I testify unto every man. I'm talking to every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man, if any man shall add unto these things, shall add to these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written add in this book. unto him the plague, the curse, the punishment mm -hmm. that's written in the book. And if any man, and if any man shall take away from minute, the work, if if any man, if any man, any man. What about the movie director? Any man. Screenwriter. Any man. Any man. What about if he's wealthy? Any man. He got a Grammy. Any man. In me. Any man. Global. Any man. They give him a banquet. Any man. That's right. You notice how your mind changed when you look at everything from the eyes of God? Amen. Mm. Moment of program supposed to be mm. religious, talking about, especially this time of year. Yeah. About the Bible. <laughs> always got lies. Always. I don't always. have the patience to sit and look at them long time. It's always got lies. Always. Because the moment I look at it, my mind is going. Now the colonel mind would say, well, they just do it for entertainment. Entertain. Either you're entertained by a lie. Yes. Well, how many ways can you talk about Jesus? Mm. Let's get the Bible. The you Bible. can talk about him more than one way. That's right. I'm going to show you. In the book of Philippians. Chapter 1. You see all this Bible? And begin reading at verse 15. You want to find something in the egg today. Here it is. That's right. Watch this scripture hatch out right on you. That's right. Huh? That's right. I got a basket to give you right here. Got a basket. Here's one of the treats. In Philippians chapter 1. <laughs> Here's one of the treats. That's right. Listen at the rabbit read. And Glory to God. Huh? Listen at the reading rabbit. Come on, son. Let's have Philippians it. Philippians 1, we'll start at verse 15. Hallelujah. Take God. Some indeed preach Christ, even some of... Some indeed preach Christ. Even of envy and strife. Of envy and strife. And some also of goodwill. And some of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention. The one preach Christ of contention. Not sincerely. Don't mean what Supp they're doing. Supposing to add affliction to my bonds. What else? But the other of love. What else? Knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What else? What then? All right, listen. Amen. What then? Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding? Every way. Every way. Every way. Every way that you can possibly think of. Whether in pretense. Whether in pretend. Falsehood. Hypocrisy. Or in truth. Or in reality. Christ is preached. Every One way or the other. One way or the other. Christ is the church you go to. Why do they got Easter plays? That's right. You don't have no plays in church. No, no. A true child of God won't even go to a so-called Christian play on Broadway. That's right. The Bible is something you don't play with. No, I can't play with it. Now, I have heard people say, well, they use plays to gain people to Christ. You show me one person repenting of their sins, <laughs> was baptized true. in the name of Jesus Christ, and received the Holy Ghost the Holy in the Ghost. theater. Right. Amen. Just show me one. Just one. Holy Ghost fell on them while they was acting in the theater. Right. 
Stop trying to justify yourself. That's right. Holy Ghost is not a play. No. God is real, man. He's not deceived. Did you hear that? In Galatians 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Amen. So when they put these religious programs on, you got to have knowledge of the Bible. If you don't, you will think it happened that particular that's way. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's you will right. actually think it happened that way. That's right. That's true. When you add to the Bible. Add. Mm -hmm. When you see someone acting like they're the prophets. One's supposed to be Elijah, one's supposed to be Isaiah, one's supposed to be Jeremiah. And then they're all three walking and talking, and then all of a sudden they stop. And Isaiah starts singing to Elijah. Oh, when you find the great God will come in time. Oh, oh shut up. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's adding. That's and you right. know what? God frowned at that. That's right. Because God is saying, I didn't make that happen. That's right. I didn't make that happen. Amen. You're lying on me. Right. That's right. This is what we don't think about. They made one of them Bible stories with John the Baptist in Jordan. And they didn't have John baptizing like the Bible said it. No. They had John scooping water in his hand and dripping it on the head of people. Right. Right. Start looking at it. Gotcha. I didn't have John do that. That's right. I told John it become us. So I said, well, the Bible didn't say how John baptized. It did. It, it did. said straightway Jesus came up out, the, out water. the water. For you to come straightway out, the person got to take the straightway in. That's right. God, I want to clean up all the rubbish. Clean it up. I want to clean up all the rubbish. Clean it that up. way when you go home, you ain't got to watch that lie called the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Don't go buy the DVDs and don't go buy the videos. No. It's a lie. It's a lie. That's right. Stop letting your children watch it. Yeah. Turn on the truth of God. Let them watch that. That's right. That's right. It's a lie. That's right. The danger is the children will think it actually happened like Just that. like that. That's grooming them to believe a lie. That's right. For I testify unto every man. Listen to that Revelation 22, 18. I testify to every man that heareth the words. Of the prophecy of, of the this prophecy book. Of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues. That are written in this book. And what else? And if any man shall take away. If any man shall take away. From the words of the book of this prophecy. What will God do to that man? God shall take away his part right, out of the it, book of it, life. Hold it. Hold it. If many men shall take away. Take away. Take away. That's right. Now, if there's something in the Bible, then all of a sudden the screenwriter done changed it up and got it in the form of a movie. Right. And he took it away and took didn't it away. leave it like the Bible. God going to get him too. God, and if any man shall take away. If any man shall take away. From the words of the book of this prophecy. Hold it. From the words. If you take something from out the words of these words. Of the book of this and prophecy. And then rearrange it in a script. That's right. That's it. From the word, you take something from this word, from the word, and rearrange it in a script. That's right. How do God feel about that? God shall take away His part. Uh oh. God shall take away His part. God said, "You took away from my word." Oh, you did. <laughs> That's right. You took away from my word. That's right. God say now, what am I going to do to you? God shall take away his part. Oh, I'm going to take away your part. Out of the book of life. Out the book of life. And, and out of the holy city. And for you, I'm not going to let you in the holy city. And in other words, I'm not going to let you live and come up in the first resurrection. That's right. Because the holy city is for the holy people. That's right. To make the first resurrection. That's right. Listen, and holy is he and to have part. part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power. That's right. Jesus said, I go away to prepare a place for you. Peace. That when I come, there you may be also. That's John right. said, I saw Jerusalem come oh, yeah. down from God out of heaven, out of heaven. prepared as a bride, a dawn for a husband. That's the right. city lies four square. Go the lift and the breast and the height thereof are equal. One part is 144 cubits. Another ahead. part is 12,000 furlongs. Go ahead. Go ahead. God, but if you take away from the book, God shall take away his part out of the Holy City. You ain't getting in there. That's right. Not getting in. If you misrepresent God Go in a play, you not even misrepresent God in a song. Come on, son. Let's go to work. Let's go to work as we go now. My God, don't look at me. Go to work. Amen.
I want to get singing and praying. And you can misrepresent God through singing Go and praying. That's right. What is it then? Them chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 14. We're at, we're at verse Lord 15. God, I'm walking my beat. Did you hear That's what right. I said? That's right. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 15. Follow me. Follow me. First Corinthians chapter 14. 14. And verse 15. Verse 15. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray with the Spirit. And, and I will pray with the understanding also. Hold it. Praying with the Spirit. With the Spirit. For years, men have said, pray in the Spirit. Right. No, it says, pray with the with Spirit. The spirit. Now let's understand what is the nature of God. Mm -hmm. The nature of God is divine, eternal, perpetual, immortal. That's right. That's one way of the spirit. That's right. But there's another way that points to spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's Jesus teaching. That's right. For Jesus said the words, words that I speak unto you that I speak unto you they, they are spirit. Are spirit. They are spirit and, and they are life. Are life. So right. if I pray with the Spirit, with it. With it. With, with, it. with the Spirit. So if I'm praying with it, that means the Spirit already got something going on. Right. And I joined it. That's right. To be with it. That's right. Huh? That's right. So if I joined it to be with it, mm -hmm. the Spirit already got words out there. Out there. It's written. That's right. So now when I come along later and express my words, mm -hmm. To that same spirit, which is God, Go my words cannot contradict the yes. words that already was here before I prayed. That's right. If the Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our oh, God, God is one, one mm -hmm. and yet I start praying, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, these three are one. My words contradict, contradict the words of the Spirit. That's right. What is it then? If I pray, Lord, give me that man, mm -hmm. and I know that man is married, mm -hmm. my words Go ahead. Contradict, contradict the law of marriage. That's right. Pray Go ahead. with the spirit. With the spirit. With it. With it. Meaning my heart and mind and my words must be in full agreement right. with, with the spirit that's written in the letter. That's right. That's right. Glory to that's right. God. Glory to God. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the spirit. I will, I will agree. That's right. I will agree with what God said. And and I will pray with the understanding also. Listen, do you understand what you say? What you say? That's why the disciples said to Jesus, mm. Lord, teach, teach us, us. Pray. how to pray. That's right. He says, our father. Right then, he showed you and I that we have a relationship with the God of heaven. That's right. Our father. 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 He established that we are a family. That's right. Our, Our Father. Father. When he said Father, those words told you right then you're children. That's right. Our Father. Our Father. Right then, when he's called Father, he let you know he's your teacher. That's he's right. your disciplinarian. He tell you what to do, where to go, what not to go. Why? He's Father. Uh, that's right. He got the right to tell you anything he want to tell you. That's right. Father, you got to honor him. Father, yeah. you got to respect him. Father, you got to bow to him. Father, you got to obey him. Father, you got to fear him. Go ahead. Father, he got the right to chastise you. Yeah. Father, he got the right to beat you. Amen. Father, he got the right to warn you. Yeah. Father, he got the right to interrupt your life. That's right. Father, he tell you when to go, when not to go, what to wear, what to pull off. Go ahead, Father. Who to talk to, who not to talk to, who to socialize with, and who to separate yourself from. That's right. Why? He's Father. Father. Go ahead. Father said it's a shame for a man to have long hair. Long hair. So father tell man you gotta cut your hair. Cut your hair. That's right. Father said cover up the shame of thy the nakedness. nakedness. So the father let you know your half naked body should not be seen should out in public. Appear. That's right. Go ahead. Father said when thou art spoiled what would you do? That's right. So you deck yourself with ornaments of gold and rent thy face with paint. paint. In vain you make yourself fair. Yeah. Your lovers shall despise thee. That's so right. Father said, get rid of your makeup. That's get right. rid of it. Father said, if you pray or prophesy with your head uncover, you dishonor That's your head. head. So Father said, for this cause you ought to have power, something on your head That's to respect right. the angels. That's right. That's what Father said. Father said. That's right. 
Hallelujah. Take God. Go ahead. Father said, first in the church, apostles. apostles. Second, daily prophets. Third, the teachers. That's right. Father said. Father said, order. Father said, let us all walk by the same rule of mind, the same, same thing. thing. We perfectly join together the same mind and, and the same, same judgment. judgment. The public say, there's a lot of churches. Father said, you're baptized by one spirit, one spirit. into one body. one body. Father said, upon this rock, That's I right. build my, my church, church, and the gates of hell shall not, shall prevail, not against prevail against it. Father said. He said what? Our Father. <laughs> Our Father. Our Father. Our Father. Our Creator. That's right. The moment he said, Our Father, right then the Father let you know, I made you. Right then. That's right. I'm your maker. That's right. No Big Bang Theory. No. I'm your maker. That's right. I don't want got you here. That's right. I'm your provider. That's right. I don't want to make it possible for you to do this. Yeah. Father, our That's Father, right. our to establish Father. a relationship. That's right. Glory to God, our Father, let you know we are his sons and daughters. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Come on, son. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. Pray with the Spirit. Let's go back to the prayer. Back our. In, back in Matthew chapter 6 and at verse 9. Our. Father. Father. After this manner. After this. Listen. This is how you pray. After this manner. Our. Therefore pray ye. Our Father. Spell Father. F-A-T-H-E-R. S. F-A-T-H-E-R. No, S. F-A-T-H-E-R. Ain't no in on the internet. F A T H E R. Our Father mean our God. That's right. So why are you praying the three? That's why right. you want to get two more to this one? That's right. Can you can't even hardly obey this one. That's right. Listen. Our Father. Our Father. Which art in heaven. Where? In heaven. Which art in heaven. That lets you know right then God is not a man. Right. For it says right. no man had to send it up into any time into heaven at any time but he that came down. That's right. Our Father, where? Which art in heaven. That lets you know, looking up, shows reverence. Yeah. That's right. And you are less than the one that's up there. That's right. He's above. He's the supreme power. Supreme. Come on. Our Father, which art in heaven. What? Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed. Go ahead. Be thy name. Be thy name. Separate. Mm. And holy. That's right. Mm. And sacred. That's right. And righteous. Go ahead. And pure mm. is thy name. Thy name. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. What is it? Thy kingdom come. Thou kingdom come. Come. Amen. Thy will be done. Thou kingdom come. Where you going to put it? It's established in the hearts of man. That's right. How you going to get it there? Through teaching. Through teaching. All right, listen. Go ahead, brother. Thou kingdom come. Thy kingdom and, come. And who will that we got to obey? Thy will be done. Where? In earth. In earth. Where his will got to be? In earth. That's you and I. That's right. In earth mean in the human race. As it is in heaven. Wait a minute. Who else got to follow the will? In heaven. Who? In heaven. That's why the devil got thrown out. He didn't want to do that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Spirit and man. Go ahead. That shows you that spirit got a will yeah. and man got a and will. Man. That's right. Thou will, Thy will be, be done, done in earth, in earth as it is in as heaven. It is in heaven. In heaven. The Amen. will of God is obey him. That's it. That's right. Go ahead. Him. That's right. mm. Lean not to your own understanding. Right. Obey him. That's right. Not them. Him. You out here trying to run after a white God and a black God like a bunch of blind, bigot fools. Have we not all one father? Have we not all one, one, one God? One. Has we not all one father? Have we not all one creator? Has not one God created us? No, three us? gods. One God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. One God. Five gods. One God created us. Is that plain? Amen. In Malachi. Is that plain, folk? Amen. In Malachi chapter 2 now and verse 10. Now you stop trying to talk to your other two. <laughs> That's right. One father. I want to get your vision right. Right. Go back to where you were. Back in Matthew 6, now we're at verse 10. Real quick. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Make our, listen, give us this day. Our daily bread. Make provisions for us. That's right. <laughs> make provisions for us. Yes. Right. Give us this day our daily bread. That's twofold. Mm. 
Make provision for us naturally and give us your word. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Give us your word. That's right. I am that, that bread, bread from heaven. From heaven. From heaven. Give us this day daily. Daily bread. It is written, he added daily. Daily such as that, that should be said. Why? There was some daily bread being given Go out. Ahead. Man shall not live by bread alone, alone. but by every word proceedeth that proceedeth out of God's mouth. You see, God bring forth bread from the earth, and God bring forth bread from the mouth. That's right. Glory to God, do you get what I'm telling you? Give us this day our daily bread. I want to strip the prayer apart. Amen. Come on, son. And forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. Oh, Amen. notice. Forgive us our debt. As we forgive As. our debtors. Now hold it. That let me know this. For me to get his forgiveness, yeah. I got to first implement mine. That's right. That's right. For if ye forgive men their trespasses. Let, give, give, give chapter and verse. Listen at this. Now in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 14. Come on, son. For if ye forgive men their trespasses. You give men their trespasses. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. Thank God to forgive you. But... But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, if you don't forgive them that wrong you, neither will your father forgive your God trespasses. God is not going to forgive you. That's right. So notice what the prayer was. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts as. 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 Notice how it's linked. Right. Forgive us our debts as. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. Our debtors. Then what? And lead us not into temptation. Hold it. What Wait. good is you praying and asking God don't lead you into temptation and that you know there's an area that tempts you. You go there. You go there. Someone said, well, how does that work? I'm tempted by going there, but I'm praying, Lord, don't lead me there. Don't lead me there. All you got to do is submit to what you know that tempts you. That's right. And don't go. Don't go. Every man... Is tempted. And that's right. When he's drawn away of his own lust, of his own lust, and, and enticed, and enticed, and enticed. You know what atmosphere is tempting to you. That's right. So if you're gonna say, "Lord, lead me not into temptation. To temptation," but yet you're going anywhere. That's right. You're drawn away with your own lust. Let no man say when he is tempted. Well, Pastor Jennings, why don't the Lord just stop me? You know, he see I'm going there. Why don't he just stop me? Because he gave you free will. Free will. The Lord says this. Choose you this day. That's right. Choose. Choose who whom you're going to serve. You see how you blocked every time you talk? Oh, yeah. Choose you this day whom you're going to serve. If God be God, serve, serve him. him. If Baal be God, serve, serve him. him. Then the prophet says this. If he be willing. That's right. And obedient. You'll eat, eat the good of the land. land. That's right. But if ye forbear, right. ye shall be destroyed. destroyed. That's right. You got to be willing. Willing. Oh, Rick, take God. Go ahead. Come on, son. Back in Matthew 6 and verse 13. Listen. And lead us not into temptation. But do what? But deliver us from evil. The first evil you need to be delivered from is self. 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 First evil. It goes back to what we were saying about the heart in the beginning. Yeah. The heart being the most deceitful thing. So therefore, this is why folks struggle so hard to get away from things that is wicked and that's destroying them. It's because their heart is tied, tied to those to items. That's right. True deliverance is the separation of the heart. Mm -hmm. When your heart is separated from the club, you don't go. No. You don't even enjoy it no more. That's right. Now, this is what's happening to you. Mm -hmm. When you find yourself going to the club and your joy is just ain't there no more, it's because your heart now is starting to be away from it. When you find yourself now, the cigarettes and the joint and all that stuff, you ain't getting that joy out of it no more. It's because your heart, heart. is being detached from it. It's getting old. It's playing out. It ain't doing nothing for you no more. Now you're getting into position. Your heart is moving into position so God can deal with it. That's right. Your heart is getting into position now. That's right. So the Lord God can deal with it. Deal with it. Huh? Hey Amen. He, he's breaking up that stony heart. That's right. 
Thank God in giving you a heart of flesh. Did you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Listen. And lead us not into temptation. But do what? But deliver us from evil. What? For what? What is evil, Pastor Jennings? Evil. Evil. Evil, <laughs> evil, evil, evil. That's, that's right. What is evil? Everything that God is against. Everything that God's against. Even if it's not evil in your eyes. Yeah. That's right. If it's not evil in your eyes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If it's evil in the eyes of God, it's evil. Mm -hmm. It's evil. It's evil. Amen. That's the true right and wrong. Yeah. See, if we look at something right or wrong, well, we are downplayed. Because we love it or enjoy it. Right. But if you look at it from what God said, you got to say, you know what? My God, man, I got some evil stuff in it's me. Evil in me. Come on, son. But deliver us from evil. Why? For thine is the kingdom. And? And the power. And you are the power. And the glory forever. Amen. Glory forever and what? Amen. Amen mean he bear witness of it. Amen <laughs> also mean he's God and the end of all things. Don't so say how is that? Is it written in the book of Revelation? Thus saith the Amen. amen. Thus saith the amen. amen. Thus saith the Amen. These things but, saith the Amen. Do you hear this? In the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 14. These things saith, saith who? The, the Amen. The witness. The the faithful and true witness. You see? The amen. You see, that's why when you hear the word of God being preached, you say amen. You're witnessing to him. That's right. Huh? That's so right. when the word of God call him the amen, that means he's the witness. That's Not right. only he's the witness, he's the end of a thing. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. These things saith the amen. You had God quickened. Mm -hmm. brothers you had and God quickened who were dead. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, and to my loyal watching enemies. Amen. You had God quickened. You had God revived that were dead. In trespasses and sins. In trespass and in sins. There is no sin under the sun that God Almighty cannot deliver you out of. In fact, why it comes to my mind, finish back up in, in Corinthians. Corinthians. Amen. Yes, those that was caught up in all these different things Amen. in the Corinthian church. And the Apostle Paul let them know how they, this was their past life. That's right. Listen back, at this. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we're at verse 9. Yeah. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? What is it? Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Neither fornicators, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, idolaters, nor adulterers, adulterers, nor effeminate, 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 effeminate. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's an action. That's right. Yes, it is. A person can have a feminine action, but yet not gay. That's true. See, a person can have a feminine character, but they not gay. That's right. Sometime a boy can be raised up around his mother and always raised up around women and he pick up that feminine character yeah. that his mother have, yet he's straight. He's straight. That's it's true. just like some girls. Mother may not be around, so she's raised by her father. And she pick up those ways and act like a tomboy sometimes, but yet she's straight. She's straight. That's right. That's in some cases. Not all. Not all. Let me just add that in add there. That. That's right. All right, thank God. I don't want no one to jump too high. But this is the past life yes. that the Apostle Paul was preaching to the church mm -hmm. that some of them were in. That's Listen. right. Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. When you're abuser of yourself with mankind, that's what the folks out there are petitioning for to the Supreme Court. Right. They want to continue backside abuse. That's right. Go ahead. And Go ahead. Go ahead. The Sodomites is on the steps of the Supreme Court, hoping that the Supreme hoping. Court will justify them to resurrect back from the ruins of the earth, Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. Mm. Want to bring it out of the ashes. Mm. Listen. No abuses of themselves with mankind. Anytime a man with a man, he's abusing you. Abu That's right. He burglarizing your garage. <laughs> That's right. Your go that, that garage ain't made for no cars to park in. No, no. Am I right? That's right. I ain't God, if it don't fit, you got to quit. <laughs> That's right. Get me? Go ahead. Go ahead. I know some of you don't like it, but that's all right. You don't like that. Turn it off. We'll be back on next week. That's right. Come on, son. No abusers of themselves with mankind. No abusers of themselves with mankind. No thieves. No thieves. No covetous. No covetous. No drunkards. No drunkards. No revilers. No revilers. No extortioners. 
no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now look at this long list that he just read. Mm -hmm. Now look at what's written. And such were some of you. Amen. Told you. Amen. One of those things, some, some of us were. Some of us were. That's One right. of them. That's right. Read that list again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Everything that's on that list fall in what class? Unrighteous. Unrighteous. What class is it? Unrighteous. And what is it? Be not deceived, neither fornicators. Fornicators. Nor idolaters. Idolaters. Nor adulterers. Adulterers. Nor effeminate. Them that have feminine actions. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Men that want to be with men. Nor thieves. Thieves. Nor covetous. Covetous. Nor drunkards. Drunkards. Nor revilers. Revilers. Nor extortioners. Extortioners. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. No, they, they extortioners, you know, they like to do a shakedown. That's right. That's right. Extort money out of you. That's right. Anyone that did this list, he mm -hmm. said, you won't inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. What? And such were. Such were. Some were is past. Were. Such were. Some of you. Some, you that are watching me now. Mm-hmm. Some of you were this. Right. Some of you still are. That's right. Listen. But ye are washed. Uh-oh. Now you got cleaned up. But ye are sanctified. Oh, you're washed and you're sanctified. But ye are justified. And you're justified. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. Amen. That shows you that you can be changed. You can be changed. Can be changed. All of you that are here. My God in Wilmington, Delaware, it's time for a change. Oh, yes. 29 souls went down in water just in two days. And because we have such a large crowd of television viewers and followers here in Wilmington, Delaware, like I mentioned last night, we're looking, I'm um, getting my team together this week so they can start looking for a place so we can temporarily get a place to start bringing the congregating the people of Wilmington together. Get these young men and young women and old men and middle aged get them off the streets and start following something real. Then you'll really see whether you enjoy the telecast or not. That's right. My God, this stuff will make a soldier out of you. You don't join the army looking for them to give out cotton candy. No. Who join the, the army looking for pink boots? That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you join the army and they got that obstacle course, it's rugged. Rugged. When you climb over barbed wire, you ain't climbing over liquish. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> huh? No, no. You running through ties, you ain't running over big donuts. That's right. Take a break and sit down and eat them. <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead. God Church. Go ahead. It's boot camp. Boot camp. Boot camp. Boot camp. Boot camp. Good soldiers. Designed to really get you right mm -hmm. on God terms. Yeah. Not what you may call right. No. Only what God called right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Well, my preach, my pastor told me I ain't gotta do this. I ain't gotta I don't care what your pastor said. What he said. Listen at what God said. Amen. Always remember, brothers and sisters, that the word of God outweigh all men. That's right. Thank God the prophet said, in my hasting, I find all men to be lying. Let the wicked forsake his way. Do you hear what God said? In Isaiah 55 and verse 7. You got to give up your second wife, brother. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I want to be saved, but I ain't ready yet, man. You know, and you open that church, I want to come. What am I supposed to do? Come on. Come on. What about her? Let her come on. That's right. Don't stay home. That's right. God will start separating you. Yes, he will. Thank God, that word will start pricking your heart. That's right. For you know, you go from the same bed to couch and bed. From couch and bed to do two different rooms. From two different rooms to out the house. Yeah. Pastor Jennings, I ain't got no dresses. All I got is pants, you know. And I heard you say we ain't supposed to wear them, you know. But I, I want to be saved. Come on, come on with your pants on. Come on. Come on. That's right. 
Come on, with your pants on. Come on. That's right. What have God to clean you up to? Yeah. By the Jennings, I heard you speak against jewelry and look at the, I got a diamond, man. Amen. I'm telling you, I got this diamond and I just can't live without it. You've been tricked. Yeah. You can't live without God. Right. Let me prove to you, you can live out without it. When you die, you ain't going to have it. You're not going to have it. You're going to be dead without it. Without it. Somebody else going to wear it. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jennings, I just got a hair full of fake braids and pony. What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> just like you weave it in, you will eventually weave it out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What I'm trying to teach you is this. Go ahead, brother. Walking with the truth, mm -hmm. you're not going to do everything at one time. No. You're not going to be up to what everything God say at one time. No way. When a child is born, he don't start walking. No. I ain't seen no, I never heard of a child walk from the womb. Walk out the womb. I got seven youngins. Not one, I said. I said, not one. When I was in that delivery room, the doctor said, push. Not one walked out. No. <laughs> Glory to God, because if they would have, <laughs> only one would have been in the living room is my wife. <laughs> huh? Amen. Child would have walked out. I'm walking out. This one is like that. What's up? Hey, I'm so glad to be out of there. You ain't mine. That's the devil. <laughs> Takes time. Oh, yeah. Learn of me. And this is where many make the mistake. When you repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, some folks ask me often, well, if I, if, suppose I do wrong, do I got to be baptized again? No. You ever sat in the water a long time? <laughs> and, your, and your fingers get wrinkled? Mm -hmm. Man, if you had to be baptized every time you do wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll be like a prune. Yes, you would be. I'll be in the water almost 24 hours a day baptizing people. That's right. I'm telling you right off the bat. Right off the bat. After you repent and be baptized, mm -hmm. you still going to do something wrong. Right. Because you got some growing to do. That's right. And you got some learning to do. Yeah. You have to die daily. I did. It's a process of development. That's right. Amen. Huh? Process of development. That's right. Eventually, you'll come out them hot pants. Eventually. You'll come out them skin tight jeans. Mm hmm. You'll come out that mini skirt. Brother, you'll get the earring out your ear. That's right. You'll take your cigarettes and throw them away. You'll get rid of that six pack of beer in your house. Mm -hmm. And you'll stop driving that beer truck. That's right. That's right. You'll stop selling that crack. You'll stop smoking that pop. Mm -hmm. You'll stop having card parties. Mm. You'll stop shooting that dice. Yeah. You'll stop shooting pool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll pull your pants up and stop showing your drawers. Amen. You will hide your backside so men don't see it. That's right. A real man don't want another man to see his backside. His backside. Uh, no, no. What, 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 what you, uh, you, you, you don't want that to happen, now, do you? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. You'll find yourself not getting tattoos no more. No more. The man won't even, he won't be out there arching his eyebrows. No. Mm -mm. All of a sudden, the club don't work with him no more. She'll come out the striptease club swinging on a pole swinging. to entertain bums. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. She'll come down, she'll slide down that pole once and all and don't never get back on it again. That's right. Won't be on it with her legs wrapped around and spinning. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, she'll come out of that club. Go ahead. Getting a lap dance. Mm. Sitting there shoving dollars down her bra. Yeah. Or a reasonable facsimile thereof. That's right. That's right. Yeah, come out of it. Come out of it. It won't happen overnight. No. Here a little. 
Your heart is the thing that must be attacked. When the heart is attacked, the love for it is attacked. That's it. Titus 3 and 3 says. Titus chapter 3, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We ourselves also were. Were. Was sometimes foolish. Foolish. Disobedient. Hard-headed. Deceived. Deceived. Serving divers lusts, serving divers lusts and, and pleasures, pleasures, living in malice and living envy, in malice and envy, hateful, hateful and hating one another. But what happened? But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward man. Are we glad that God been kind? Kind. Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful thing to know how kind God is. Yes, He is. Look how the type of man Brother Paul was. Mm -hmm. Have you forgotten what the Bible said he was? Yeah. A injurious? This fellow was a murderer. Murderer. Who was before a blasphemer. Listen to that chapter and verse now. Ch uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 13. Who was before a blasphemer. He's reflecting on his past life. Yeah. Who was before? He a was a blasphemer. And a persecutor. He was a persecutor. And injurious. Uh, injurious? But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. You know why all of us is here? Yeah. God mercy got us here. God mercy. The word of God has been preached. Amen. Thank God it's time for you to obey it. Does anyone else here want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and get your sins washed away? That's what God ordered for you to do to be saved. Anyone want to be baptized? Stand on your feet. One, two, three, four. Anyone else? All brothers. You see that brother right there? Raise your hand, brother. Go at that brother. Sisters that want to be baptized. Let me see the sisters that want to be baptized. Stand on your feet so I can see you. Raise your hand, sister, so I can see you over here. Raise your hands. You see the sister over there? Go over there where she is. That's all good. Brother Harrison, get ready. Follow them. Take them down in water. Amen. Everybody that have not been born again. This is God's law. That's right. If you bow your head and raise your hand and claim you accept Christ as your personal Savior, you ain't born again. You've no. been tricked. You've been baptized in the preacher said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You ain't baptized. No. You went to the church and been sprinkled. You ain't baptized. That's right. You watch some preacher on television, the preacher said, you can look at me now, put your hand on the television. And say along with me, God come into my heart, save me, bless me. He didn't tell you. Now, friend, you're saved. No, you're not. No, you're not. Friend, you ain't saved. That's right. That's right. You want to get right? Get right. You must repent. Do you hear what the Bible said in Acts 38? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter said to them, do what? Repent. Why do God want you to repent? He wants you to be sorry about your evil doing. That's right. You get a person who's convicted in the heart. They mm, sorry about their sorry wrong. About it. So what did God say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. And what? And be baptized. Be what? Ba be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Oh, well, wait a minute. Who? Every one of you. Amen. Black, white, brown, yellow, red. Got to do what? Be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. You that are watching, you might as well write in. That's right. And tell me when you want it. That's right. Amen. When you write in, I don't care if you email. Amen. Add your phone number. Amen. Because you got to have it. Got to have it. You ain't never been saved unless you got what we're reading. That's right. Amen. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy That's Ghost. That's what Jesus meant when you said, born of the water and of the Spirit. And of the Spirit. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. When you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. Speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit of God give utterance. Mm -hmm. We had a good meeting in Delaware this whole weekend. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, all of my brothers and sisters throughout the Delaware area, you will be notified where our temporary location will be. All of you will be contacted by letter, and every last one of you will get a chance to see it over the air where the temporary location will be. So I can start rounding up the cattle That's and right. brand you with holiness. With holiness. Huh? That's right. Brand, brand you. you. Lord right. God. Brand you with holiness. That's right. Now, our international convocation is coming up in July. So, because God gave us such a good meeting here in Delaware, we're bringing our international holy convocation right back here this year. The International Holy Convocation is the last week of July. So all Delaware, if, if the youth conference can't hold the people, you know the International Convocation not going to hold them. So when you come back, bring your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your daddy, and this time bring your pastor. Bring him. Bring your woman preacher, that way we can fire her. That's right. Bring all the homosexuals of your neighborhood. Bring the dope dealer and the crap dealer. That's right. My God, because we got some real stuff. Oh, yeah. Eh? This is oh, potent yeah. stuff right here. <laughs> this is the best thing. The best thing. Makes my heart feel good to see so many soldiers, so many men, men. willing to walk with God. Yeah. So we can't have these folks going down in water and then leave them stranded. God, I got work to do. He said, I'd make you fishes of men. Huh? It's a tough job too, brother. And it's an ex exhausting and tiring job. But brother Paul said, this will I do if God permit. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Thank you, brothers and sisters. We thank all of you for taking the time out to come. I do pray that God will give us all a safe journey to our separate places. Service will be this evening at the Philadelphia Headquarters Church. So if you're not busy, and many of you won't, be in Philadelphia on Frankfurt Avenue. What time is it now, brother? 3.30. Prayer in Frankfurt Avenue will begin 6 o'clock. So brothers with keys, have the doors open before time. Be in Philadelphia and get some more of the word of God in you. To all our brothers and sisters of Delaware and you that are watching around the world, this message is for you. I know the devil thought he had us licked here in Delaware. Yeah. But he was up against God. Right. And ain't nobody can beat God. That's right. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Let us all stand as we have our brother, brother minister, Pastor Taylor, will close us out in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this service. We thank you how you have blessed and have you moved souls to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we ask that you continue. Glory to God. Bless this ministry lord bless this my savior lord glory to god and let your mighty hand be upon it lord jesus and protect our pastor in the name of jesus christ we thank you today and we magnify your name for what you have done continue lord to move by your spirit and lord let souls come asking what must i do to be saved and we thank you today lord jesus and lord as we prepare to leave here we will ask you to bless us, O oh God. Travel with us as we go to our different destinations. Lord Jesus, ride with us over the dangerous highways and take us too. And we thank you today, Lord Jesus. And bless us, O oh God. Let us hold fast and let your word, Lord, dwell in us richly. The word that we have received today, my Savior, since we've been in these meetings. And we thank you right now. We give you the honor, we give you the glory, and we give you the praise. We cling to you, Lord. We hold to you. For we have nowhere else to go. And we thank you right now. In these blessings we ask in your precious, holy, righteous name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen.